Halloween, three poems. Number one, Halloween. Bring forth the raisins and the nuts tonight, all hallows as spectre struts along the moonlit way. No time is this for tear or sob or other woes our joys to rob, but time for Pippin and for Bob and Jack a lantern gay. Come forth, ye lass and trousered kid, from prisoned mischief raise the lid and lift it good and high. Leave grave old wisdom in the lurch. Set folly on a lofty perch, nor fear the awesome rod of birch when dawn illumes the sky. Tis night for revel set apart to reillume the darkened heart and rout the hosts of dole. Tis night when goblin, elf, and fay come dancing in their best array to prank and royster on the way and ease the troubled soul. The ghosts of all things past parade, emerging from the mist and shade that hid them from our gaze, and full of song and ringing mirth, in one glad moment of rebirth, again they walk the ways of earth, as in the ancient days. The bees and light shines on the hill, the will-o'-wisps the forests fill with flashes filched from noon. And witches on their broomsticks spry Speed here and yonder in the sky And lift their strident voices high Unto the hunter's moon. The air resounds with tuneful notes From myriads of straining throats All hailing folly queen. So join the swelling choral throng. Forget your sorrow and your wrong In one glad hour of joyous song. To honor. Halloween. John Kendrick Bangs in Harper's Weekly, November 5th, 1910. Two. Pixie, Kobold, Elf, and Sprite all are on their rounds tonight. In the wan moon's silver ray thrives their helter-skelter play. Fond of cellar, barn, or stack, true unto the almanac, they present to credulous eyes strange hobgoblin mysteries. Cabbage stumps, straws wet with dew, apple skins and chestnuts too, and a mirror for some lass, show what wonders come to pass. Doors they move and gates they hide, mischiefs that on moonbeams ride, are their deeds, and by their spells, love records its oracles. Don't we all of long ago by the ruddy fireplace glow in the kitchen and the hall those queer, coof like pranks recall? Eerie shadows were they then, but tonight they come again. Were we once more but sixteen? Precious would be. Halloween. Joel Benton in Harper's Weekly, October 31st, 1896. Three. A gypsy flame is on the hearth, sign of the carnival of mirth, through the dun fields and from the glade. Flash merry folk in masquerade, it is the witching Halloween. Pale tapers glimmer in the sky, the dead and dying leaves go by. Dimly across the faded green, strange shadows, stranger shades are seen. It is the mystic Halloween. Soft gusts of love and memory beat at the heart reproachfully. The lights that burn for those who die were flickering low. Let them flare high. It is the haunting Halloween. A. F. Murray in Harper's Weekly, October 30th, 1909. <laughs>